To create predictive models for preferential groundwater flow, its mechanisms are studied in the field and in laboratory experiments. Out in the field, the variation of soil structure from point to point makes general analysis of any flow phenomena difficult. So laboratory experiments are conducted to analyze general characteristics of different types of flow phenomena, including preferential flow. In the laboratory, artificial controlled environments can be created to test the effects of soil texture and flow rate conditions on preferential flow. This is a chamber where experiments are carried out. Two panels of glass hold sand in a one centimeter gap between them. The sand is uniformly irrigated from the surface by a stream of water that um, shuttles back and forth over the, over the surface. The um, water then flows through the, the sand, unsaturated and drains from the, through the bottom of the chamber. Injectors of dye can be placed along the surface of the sand to illuminate the streamlines of flow in the, in the sand. These ports are tensiometers that measure nature potential at those points in the sand. And uh, a bank of fluorescent lights behind the chamber transmits light through the sand to illuminate the basically two-dimensional flow of water in the sand. And this light can then be measured with a video camera recorder unit. Like this exposed gorge bank, the chamber gives us a window into the ground. And with it, it is possible to get a close-up look at water flowing through sand. Here, a close-up look at sand in the chamber shows individual particles of sand recorded with a black and white camera. Experiments are analyzed by grabbing a video image with a computer frame grabber. Artificial color can be added corresponding to the range of light intensity in the image. The darkest spots become blue and the brightest become red. Because light intensity transmitted through sand is a function of the sand's moisture content, the colorized image gives a clearer picture of the distribution of water in the image. Now this image is mostly blue because the sand is dry. But if water is added, here the chamber is being filled with water from the bottom. A vivid image contrasting wet and dry sand shows just how water is flowing. As you can see, water moves through the sand one pore at a time. It waits in a pore until the pressure is high enough to push it in to fill the next empty pore. This is a key to preferential flow, for it is at the pore level that preferential flow takes place. Laboratory experiments are only one part of preferential flow research. For example, the results of laboratory experiments and new pesticide predictive models that account for preferential flow must be tested under more realistic conditions in the field.